Greetings to everyone. In the last two videos, we have seen the nomenclature and the examples of non-fused heterocyclic ring systems. In this video, we can see the rules for naming the heterocyclic fused ring systems. The rules are as follows. The first rule is to identify the system as fused heterocyclic ring or not. Now, just by looking at the atom, we can find the atom is fused or unfused one. For example, just look at these two atoms. In this, this is unfused and this is fused one. Then the second rule, we have to identify fused atoms or heads. Now, just look at this compound. Find the fused atoms. 1 and 2. There are two atoms, fused to one another, in this compound. Next is third rule. After identifying the fused atoms, we have to break and separate it into two individual rings. While separating, share the bonds and atoms equally. After this step, fix the priority based on the reactivity of the group. Now to the high priority group, give temporary alphabet numbering between the bonds. Mostly the heterocyclic rings are given high priority as they are the most reactive one. In this example, the azole ring is given priority and they are numbered as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and given the alphabet labels such as A, B, C, D and E. While numbering, give numbers in the form such that we get the least alphabet for the fused ring. Now, write the low priority group as prefix followed by the symbol of fused alphabet and write the high priority group as suffix. In this, the low priority group is benzene. So first benzo is written and as the fused atoms alphabet is BB is written and finally azole. Benzo, B, azole. Finally, numbering. The numbering must begin with the first unfused atom, which is reactive. Do not start giving numbers to the fused atoms. Break and number it. Now let us summarize all the points. Number 1 to identify the system as fused heterocyclic ring or not. To identify fused atoms or heads. 3. Break and separate it into two individual rings. 4. Fix the priority based on the reactivity of the group. 5. Give numbers and label alphabets. Now, let us see an example problem. Look at this. It is obviously a fused ring. Now, just break it. We get two different atoms and we can start numbering the heterocyclic atom starting from the sulfur atom 1 2 3 4 in addition 5 giving alphabets a b c d now benzo b thiol another example the same thing is here breaking and numbering 1 2 3 4 and 5 and now giving alphabets A, B, C, D and E benzo, C, Azole. In the description below, I have uploaded the exercise for you. You can try that and self-evaluate yourselves. Thanks for watching.